Project Pink Blue, with support from Arts Foundation and Ministry of Health, is implementing the Upgrade Oncology Program, a, US, a Nigeria US scientific exchange program, which seeks to strengthen the capacity of the Nigerian oncology workforce through training in diverse oncology areas. Oncology research has a bright feature um, in Nigeria, especially when the Nigerian researchers and community of patients and the government do what they need to do. So this is an overview of my presentation. I'll define research, talk about the importance of clinical research, what are the types of research, a bit about study designs in oncology, and oncology clinical trials. I think the future of oncology research is where we have um, a lot of our centers uh, providing, uh, you know, prevention care and treatment services uh, for cancer patients and also being part of collaborative research and clinical trials that will uh, you know provide us with more information as to uh, better drug therapies uh, and better and more innovative ways of treating our patients the first question is why is research important to you if you are here, you're a clinician, or even if you're not a clinician, you're a champion, there's a place for you to do research, to expand your career opportunities, publish papers, and benefit the entire scientific and clinical community. So research is really the systematic investigation, right? You know, into a topic that interests you in order to establish facts on that topic and to reach conclusions. In those days, when we hear that somebody has cancer, you know, it used to be like already a death sentence, but it's no longer like that. And in advanced worlds, I mean, the survival is improving by the day and it's coming down to Nigeria. Why did that happen in research? Sometimes it may not be necessarily a new drug, but just a new approach. So far, the will, the political will to, you know, fund it effectively is not there. Uh, we can see some improvements, but the so-called is that uh, a lot of international organizations and experts are willing to partner with Africa uh, in oncology research. It has been documented already that one of the key challenges of scientific writing is what? It's school English itself. So you need to ensure that the words you use are words that the person reading will understand. I think that uh, a lot of uh, oncology researchers, you know, are clinicians, they don't have the requisite skills that they need uh, to conduct research. So, which is why a uh, program such as this is important. If you are here, you're a doctor, you're a nurse, you're an oncologist, what is going on in your department? That's where we'll start from. How many oncology patients do you see in a week, in a month? in a quarter and in a year. How many people come down with cervical cancer? How many people come down with breast cancer? How many people come down with all other kinds of solid tumors? Who are these patients? Have you characterized them? Now we're talking about research, right? Let's start from the very basic things. So it's important that you look for training and capacity building opportunities. There are certain skills that apart from your skill as an oncologist, you should have. And one is you must gain skills in research methods. I'm not a scientist, I'm a champion, but the way you made the whole presentation, it seems so easy. Is it that easy? I think uh, some of the limitations to oncology research, uh, you know, one of the key ones really is funding. Um, not a lot of grant opportunities locally and a lot of the international grant opportunities are quite competitive. Unfortunately, um, we need to build critical mass of scientists which we don't have. And the only way to do this at this moment is for us to collaborate with uh, experts uh, in the developed world. Yes, we can. Everybody say yes, we can. Yes, we can. It's the yes, we can mentality that makes the difference. Yes, we can. Even if you don't have all the resources, yes, we can. Even if you don't have all the knowledge, I'm going to go and get that knowledge. It's available out there. It only takes efforts, just efforts. And when you actually start, you begin to enjoy the game. 
because it's interesting. In conclusion, one can only learn how to ride a bicycle by riding. We can sit down here and talk for two years talking about how to write scientific paper. If you don't take your paper and pen and write, you will never learn how to write. I was able to, you know, learn new trends. I was able to unlearn some things that I wasn't doing right. And I would say that the program has been very effective. And the students and I have benefited a lot from it. I think we need to have more of such events and um, the project PIMBLIC should go further to sensitize beyond health workers, go into the community, you know, to create support groups, to create group of champions that will continue to expand this. It was interesting to see the, the good mix that uh, they had in terms of the audience, oncology professionals as well as champions, uh, and the discussions that were had were very, very very useful. So I think Project Pink, Pink Blue should really keep at it, uh, continue to engage uh, with both the oncology professionals and survivors.